let's discuss um, EDK2 build system. Uh, so EDK2 has its own build system. And most of that resides in uh, base tools. Um, there are also some configuration files which can be get generated and used from conf directory, but uh, base tools contain most of the Python scripts required to, to build and uh, to consume uh, special EDK2 files, DEC, DSC, ENF, FDF files. And those files are just consumed and converted into the make files. And based on the toolchain defined in conf directory, in special um, tools dev file, the, the uh, source code is uh, compiled and then we're getting our firmware image. So every module um, which has uh, in files in file inside um, and contains some metadata. So this in file contains some metadata. There are there is name of the module, there is version of the module, there is list of source files that, ha that have to be used to compile this module. Uh, there is a function uh, which is called entry point, which is kind of entry to given um, part of the code to to given file. Um, Maybe this is this is more like an internal part, but every um, every module got the entry function, which is called entry point. Uh, there are some dependencies described there. Uh, what packages uh, have to be included because some uh, libraries or protocols or other components of um, of EDK2 may be used inside. There are some modules defined. Some other modules defined. There are some GUIDs, and um, yeah. So the in file is is quite uh, um, interesting piece of um, definition for the module. Uh, this in file usage and, and how it looks like is very similar to the model used by Microsoft Windows. So anyone who did drivers development for my, Microsoft Windows uh, should already know those files very well. Out, output of those files after a compilation, after building, uh, is a portable executable common object file format, so PE. PECOV also uh, should, should be well known for the um, Microsoft Windows uh, environment uh, programmers. Those modules, as I said, are organized in packages. Packages are described using metadata stored in DSC and DEC files. And finally, in, in base tools, we got also EDK setup ash script, which is used for setting up environment for our uh, building system. So um, in Unix uh, and in Unix uh, operating system, we just call EDK setup ash and and it set up some environmental variable used during the compilation process. Uh, one of this variable is EDK tools path, and uh, this one points to the base tools di directory, and this base tools directory uh, contains various other uh, components needed for building EDK two. Uh, the typical build command uh, template can look as follows. Uh, so build minus a, where we provide arc, um, which is either 32 bit or 64 4 bit, uh, minus p, and then we provide the ESC file path. Um, and this ESC, of course, describe our package, uh, which can be um, either some subcomponent or the whole build for given platform. Uh, there can be also some flags, some defines after that, uh, minus T, um, and then we provide toolchain, which can be GCC or, or some other compiler, and minus B build type, which can be release or debug. Uh, 